talk to him. I get so excited talking to him. He's so positive and uplifting. So I think at this stage, and like we said, what we're going through with this election, we really need something positive. So I'm so glad he's here tonight. I'd like to introduce you to Mr. Michael Diamond. Amen. Give him a hand. Wow, thank you so much. Thank you so much. It's, it's an honor to be here with you. It's an honor to be in the house of the Lord. I'm in love with Jehovah God and our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So it's just amazing to be here with you. And you all look fantastic. So thank you for welcoming me into your home. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I do want to piggyback and say thank you so much, Edie. Thank you so much for the Most High God touching your heart to have me here tonight. It is really a privilege to speak into your lives. And I know one thing for certain. Whenever I come to speak into the lives of God's children, it's a new season. Yeah, right now. That's right. It's a new season. You yeah, have to remember yeah. that the miracle is in your mouth. Ah, yeah, yeah. It's time for a new season. Amen. I'm here to talk yeah. to you tonight about stand up, mm -hmm. step out, ah. and shine. Ah. Yeah. Right. yeah, let's do it again. It's time to stand up. Stand up. I want y'all to say it with me. It's time to stand up, stand up. step out, step out. Step out. And shine. and shine. Let's do it one more time. It's time to stand up, stand up, step out, step out, and shine. And shine. That's right. That's right. It's a new season. In fact, it's an actual order from the Most High God. God Amen. says in Isaiah 60 and 1, it's time to rise and shine. Yes. Be radiant, for the glory of the Lord is upon you. Amen. So I want you to know that it's it's in you to stand up, step out, and shine. Now, may I take this? Yeah. I got to work y'all right now. I can't stand there like that. It's too much in me. Is it all right if I move around a little bit? Okay, all right. Okay, it's time to shatter through your glass ceiling, reach in the lion's mouth, and take what belongs to you. Okay? It's time for us to stand up, step out, and shine. This is a new season. It's your season. This is your time. And you're in a zone. See, for us as children of God to take over the camp, we've got to have an attitude that we can stand up, step out, and shine. And the first thing that you have to do to stand up, step out, and shine is you have to confront yourself. Yes. You have to confront yourself. Amen. I was in a meeting, an international meeting last night, and a revelation was given to me. See, we think that there's more behind us than that's ahead of us. Right. But no, God said a day is a thousand years, and a year is a thousand years is a day. Amen. So you might have 60, 70 years behind you, but the most important time that you're in possession of is right now. So you've got to get strong, courageous, and you've got to confront yourself. And the most important thing about confronting yourself is your internal conversation. All right. If you're going to stand up, step out, and shine and be all that you've been called to be, you're going to have to confront yourself. You're going to have to confront your internal conversation. Because I know, I know that you've been through it. I know that that last storm you went through. My Lord, my Lord. That last battle. My Lord. How life kicked you when you were down. That divorce you went through. That business that failed. The finances that didn't come through. The people that told you that they were going to be there and they didn't show up. I know the hurt from your childhood. The disappointments. But I want you to know today that I'm proud of you. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of you and I believe in you. Amen. Amen. Now maybe, maybe you don't wake up to somebody telling you that. Maybe you don't have somebody to give you a hug and tell you, I'm proud of you. Mm -hmm. And that you're going to make it. Mm -hmm. We need encouragement and we need to believe in ourselves. But in order to stand up, step out and shine, 
You've got to fix your internal conversation. God brought me here tonight. I'm on assignment. I tell them when I'm on the radio. In fact, I've been the number one top producer in three multi-million dollar corporations. I've been the number one top producer in three multi-billion dollar corporations. I'm president of an international training company. I speak to people around the world. And my mantra is that it's time for you to shatter through your glass ceiling, reach in the lion's mouth, and take what belongs to you. It's time for you to live your dream. Amen. It's time for you to live your dream. And I'm telling you, I had somebody tell me not too long ago, they said, well, I've, I've gotten older, Michael Diamond. You ain't as old as God. Ah. You ain't older than the angels. As long as you ain't got a white chocolate iron that's around your body, it's a great day. Amen. And I want you to have a great attitude about you. Your attitude is a reflection of what's going on inside of you. Your attitude is your signature. Now, in order to stand up, step out, and shine, and I want you to know that it's possible. It's possible for you to live your dream. Say that with me. It's possible. It's possible. See, when you say it's possible, you're not hyping yourself up. Because if somebody else did it, that means it's possible. And that's all you need is a, a you, just, you just need a little bit of hope. Like Elijah, when he sent Haggai up the mountain, he said, I want you to go up the mountain and see if you see any clouds. He went up the first time. He didn't see nothing. He came back. He sent him back. He didn't see nothing. He came back. He sent him back. Now, about the seventh time, he probably had an attitude. Yeah. Say, man. Amen. Hey, man. Hey, man. Hey, man. Ain't nothing up there. You want me to go back again? Your attitude, if you're going to stand up, step out and shine, you've got to control your attitude. You've got to have a positive attitude. And you've got to get excited about the little things. Yes. Sometimes God is just looking at you to see your attitude about the little things he does. Yes. Yes. Sometimes we're waiting for the big things. BET to call us. NBC to call us. ABC to call us. Debt cancellation. Unexpected income. Yeah, somebody... Drop off a brand new car. <laughs> no, you gotta have a great attitude for just waking up. All right, all right. You gotta have a great attitude that you can put your socks on. Yeah. I need to drop this diamond on you. Somebody say drop it. Drop it. Let me tell you this. First of all, your subconscious does not distinguish between lie and truth. It believes whatever you're saying. Its fiduciary responsibility is to bring to pass whatever it is you're saying. So if you're saying to yourself, you know, girl, I am so tired. Girl, I'm tired. I'm so tired, I feel like I'm going to fall off, fall over here and my wig going to fall off. I'm tired. Your subconscious is going to wear you out. It's going to keep you tired. You are not going to come up with the ideas that you need to come up with. You are not going to have the energy. You are not going to have the breakthrough. You are not going to have the circumstances having for you that you're expecting. When you're believing for that breakthrough, when you're believing for that new job, when you're believing for new things to happen for the building, for your church, for your life, for your children, for your grandchildren. My oldest son is 46. I got eight grandkids. And every day I got to get up with a good attitude. Every day. Because the best thing I can leave them as an inheritance is character. To me, that's one of the most exp expensive commodities that you have. So to stand up, you've got to deal with yourself. You've got to reinvent yourself. You've got to reinvent what you're believing for. You've got to reinvent yourself. Because your subconscious does not distinguish between lie and truth. So I say things like this. I have no malfunctioning body parts. Say that with me. I have no malfunctioning body parts. I have no malfunctioning body parts. No matter how bad it is. No matter how bad it gets. I'm going to make it. 
When I ask myself, can you do this, Michael Diamond? Can you build an international trading company? Can you speak to people around the world? Can you help people develop their businesses? Can you come in and work with Fortune 500 corporations? Can you play with the big boys? Can you get in the big tank and play with the big boys? I say this to myself. I can, I will, and that settles it. I can, I will, and that settles it. Say it with me. I can, I will, and that settles it. No matter what you're going through, you say that to yourself. I can, I will, and that settles it. And no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. And I want you to say this one with me. I need to drop this diamond on you. Somebody say drop it. Drop it. I feel good about myself. See, life is beating you up. The gentleman, <clears throat> the mighty man of God that came up said, we got, we got challenges going on in the world. We got challenges going on in the politics. God ain't moved by nothing. I know that's right. He ain't never failed. Right. He ain't never lost. Mm -hmm. And he ain't worried. Yeah. So don't you get yourself all caught up and tied up what's going on in this world. You just keep saying things that God says. Isaiah 54 and 17, that no weapon formed against me shall rise. And every tongue that rises up against me falsely, thou shalt condemn. Yes, yes. Yeah, I'm blessed in the city, blessed in the field. Everything I touch is blessed. Yes, yes. Jeremiah 32, 27, behold, I am the Lord, the God of all flesh. Is there anything too hard for me? Now, what I want you to understand is this diamond that I'm giving you is Proverbs 18 and 21. He says that death and life is in the power of the tongue, and they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. You have to understand the power of your words are so powerful. You got to get up and say, girl, I don't know, but today's going to be a great day for me. All breakthrough is happening for me. Breakthrough is happening for me. Uh, today I'm going to get that phone call. What phone call, girl? How did you don't call you? Girl, I'm getting that phone call today. Girl, I'm getting that phone call today. That what phone call? I don't know. But I'm getting a good phone call today. When, when I started getting breakthrough, and I knew that I needed a Fortune 500 breakthrough, I would say to myself, I would say out loud, today is going to be the day that I get that phone call to get that international television show. And I said it again and again and again and again. Until now, I have an international television show. Right. God has blessed me with an international television show. The miracle is in your mouth. You got to stand up to yourself. The biggest battle you ever going to have is you. So stand up to yourself and then step out. Yeah. Step yeah. out in faith. It's okay. It's all right, young brother. Step out. Step out. Step out. You can do it. Step out. Start talking to yourself and say that things are turning for me. It's a new season. Now, I need to drop this diamond on you. Somebody say drop it. Drop it. The beauty is you don't have to figure it out. All you have to do is have the courage to say it. That's how they pay off these big churches. That's how big men and women operate. They just have the courage to say it. If you've got the courage to say it, God's going to get behind you. Yeah, yeah, He's just yeah. waiting on you to say it. He already has a plan for you. He said that in Jeremiah 29, 11. For I know the thoughts that I think towards you. Thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end. So he knows already the things you need and the things you want. He's just waiting for you to say it. He's waiting for you to reach down inside and believe it. You know, there's a theory about belief. And I'm doing a series on belief system. But we got to shatter some paradigms, some old things that we've been saying. I want you to challenge yourself from this day forward. Start putting a watchman at your mouth. Don't say everything you think of. All right, All right. Help, us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Girl, you getting on my nerves. Girl, I can't stand her. She gets on my nerves. She makes me sick. Wonder why folks dying of cancer. Because you're speaking sickness and disease and lack and worry. No, we're not doing that no more. 
We ain't concerned with this world. Biden ain't the answer, and Trump definitely ain't the answer. And if you're a Trump fan, I ain't mad at you. I'm just saying I'm not dependent on them. My help comes from the hills. I'm not worried about them. I'm not worried about this society. My job is to stay focused. My job is to keep speaking life. People that are close to me, they hear me say things like, I'm going to live to 120 years with a straight back. <laughs> I don't ever get sick. I don't get sick. No, I don't get sick and I don't run out of money. I don't get sick. I feel good about myself. I'm always in a good attitude. I was lost tonight. My GPS had me behind McCullough. And I thought to myself, Lord, I, where is Edie's number? I need Edie to call me right now. And the phone rang. Right. Edie was on the phone calling me. What are you believing for? It's time to stand up for what you believe for. It's time to stand up for positivity in your life. It's time for you to start speaking the wholesome things over our children, yes, yes. over our young people, yes. over our health, over our lives. Mm -hmm. It's a new day. Say this with me. This is my season. This is my season. Okay, now that was okay, but that don't represent y'all here. We got to say that with some. Fine. See, remember, transformation comes. You know, it's just like that song. You know when she's done. Ah. You know when that woman tell you, "I'm done." I'm done, I'm done, I'm done. You know she done. You know she done. Just go and get your stuff and go, because you know she done. You know she done. You know she done. I done put up with this for the last time. I'm done. And she done said it so many times, you know she mean it this time. She done said it a lot of times. But you know when mama mean it. Especially when I was a kid. You know when you get called by your middle name? You know you in trouble. Go on, get the switch. You know you're in trouble. When that middle name go out there, she's serious. Oh yeah. Now we're going to say it with some conviction because when you say what you mean with conviction, that's when transformation happens. Now you just apply this principle to whatever it is you believe in for and say it with conviction. I'm having a great day today. I said this morning, I'm having a great day today and then got a phone call about something horrific. See, them fiery darts going to come. Yeah, they are. But how you going to respond to life? All right, that's it. I've made a commitment that no matter how bad it is or how bad it gets, I'm going to make it. Yeah. And I've made a commitment that no matter what comes my way, yeah. I'm not moved by what I hear, see, think, or feel. I know I feel good about me. Yeah. I'm not releasing no negative cortisones in me. No, I'm going to stand up for what I believe in. Amen, and I'm going to deal with my subconscious mind. Ah. Now, let me drop this diamond on you. Drop it. Somebody say drop it. Ah. Ah. Y'all fired up tonight. Ah. I think I need some chicken or something. <laughs> okay, so we think 60 to 80,000 thoughts a day. Now, here's the caveat. 80 to 85 percent of your thoughts is negative. And 95 percent of your thoughts is recycled. That's why when you said, I ain't gonna think about him one more day, girl, I thought about him just the next week. I ain't thinking about her, man. I ain't gonna think about her no more. That's it. Next couple of minutes you're thinking about. Him. That negative situation that happened to you, I had somebody call me and tell me, what was going on in their life? They had me worked up. They was trying to bring the thug out of me. I was ready to ride on somebody. I asked them this question. Wait, man, when did this happen? 25 years ago. I almost that boy. 25 years ago? Man, 25 years ago? See, some of us is being tormented by things that have happened in our childhood, and we got to let all that go. We got to learn how to develop our thinking yeah. patterns. Yeah. Looking good, Mom. We got to learn. Close your mouth. We got to we gotta learn how to program our thinking. When you get that negative thought, hit the delete button. I ain't thinking about that. I feel good about myself. It come back again, delete button. I'm feeling good about myself. Breakthrough's about to happen to me. That phone call's happening to me. Good things are happening to me because I got to stand up, step out, and shine. Yeah. Say this with me. Stand up, stand up, step out, step out, and shine. And shine.
I control my thinking. I control my thinking. I control how I feel. I control my destiny. I need to stand up. I need to step out and shine. The time is now. Not tomorrow. W.E.D. Du Bois said, tomorrow is not the day. No, today is the perfect day. Today is the day for breakthrough. Today is the day for transformation. Today is the day for it to happen for you. Not tomorrow, not next week. It happens the day you say it. This principle is exposed in Daniel. He said, from the moment you prayed, from the moment you prayed, God heard you and sent an angel. Now, what happens is sometimes we get out of position. And what keeps us in position is our words. We got to stay steadfast. That's what allows you to be victorious and stand up. And stepping out, you got to have the courage to step out. It takes courage to step out. And you've got courage. Yes, life has beat you down. Yes, life has served you limits. But we making lemonade in here. Yeah, life gives us lemon. We making lemonade. You use what you have. What's in your hand is sufficient for your breakthrough. Say that. What's in my hand is sufficient for my breakthrough. What's in my bank account ain't my responsibility. My responsibility is to keep moving forward and believing that the impossible is possible. Let me drop this diamond on you. Somebody say, this is my season. This is my time. And I'm in a zone. I say that every morning. This is my season. I'm like, my gosh, that's the way you talk to your eggs? This is my season. This is my time. And I'm in a zone. You got to say it with conviction. You got to say it. Then you got to stand up. You got to stand up to yourself. You got to stand up to all that negativity. You got to stand up to all the faults that have happened. Because everything is, if you ain't got no dents in your armor, you're going in the wrong direction. All right now. Say that. You're supposed to be under attack. All right now. When you start saying, girl, it's just so tough out here, man. Man, it just seemed like one thing after another. How you think the enemy going to keep you down? All right now. That's why we stand on. Psalms 34 and 19, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers us out of them all. I'm telling you, hell itself knocked on my door to give me a hug this morning. <laughs> he didn't want me to show up here. He don't want me motivating his people, God's people. He don't want me to have a good attitude about life, but I'm not moved by no circumstances. I feel good about myself. I want you to know that get it down in your spirit. I want you to understand it's time to stand up Step out and shine. Take on that idea that you're believing for. Take on that concept to be a new you, to be a better you. And then have the courage to shine. Have a good attitude every day. Have a positive attitude every day. Expect the best to happen for you every day. I come with pearls and gifts and jewels and diamonds. Proverbs 20 and 15 says, <coughs> There is a multitude of gold, there's a multitude of gold and a multitude of rubies. But the lips of knowledge are a precious jewel. Get knowledge. Get knowledge and understanding. Proverbs 2 and 6 says, For the Lord giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. And lean on each other. Proverbs 11 and 14 says, Where no counsel is, the people fall. Amen. But in the multitude of counselors, ah. there's safety. We got to lean on our elders now. We got to stand up, step out and shine, and feel good about ourselves. Feel good about the projects we're working on. Be conscientious about the words that are coming out of our mouth. That we speak life over every situation. Yes. 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 That we think possibility. And that I want to show you, I have mentorship programs, I've got some CD programs out front. <coughs> I want you to take advantage of them. I've marked everything down substantially because you need a mentor in your life. 
You're only as strong as the mentorship and the people speaking into your life. You've got to have people speaking into your life that have been where you want to be. That are successful. That are accomplishing things. And you know what? Success sometimes is just having your grandkids graduate out of high school. Sometimes great success is just getting out of the bed and be able to put your socks on. Great success is to be able to get up, freshen up, and put on the most important thing you're going to put on all day is a good attitude. To me, that's great success. And being able to treat the people that are important to us good. That's what's important. So I want you today to make a commitment. I want you to say this with me. I want everybody to please, if you can, stand up on your feet. And I want you to make this confession with me. Today, today earmarks, earmarks a new season in my life. A new season in my life. Today, today, I cross over, I cross over into the new me, into the new me, the unstoppable me, the unstoppable me, the unafraid me, the unafraid me, the unstoppable, the unafraid, the unstoppable, the unafraid. It's impossible, it's impossible for me to be stopped. For me to be stopped. And I decree and declare, I decree and declare that from this day forward, from this day forward, I'm gonna stand up, I'm gonna stand up, I'm gonna step out, I'm gonna step out, and I'm gonna shine. I'm gonna shine. I feel good about myself. I feel good about everything that's happening for me. I feel good about everything that's happening for me. I'm gonna be good to the people in my circle. I'm gonna be good to the people in my circle. I'm putting on a great attitude now. I'm putting on a great attitude now. I'm letting go of that whole gossip person. I'm letting go of that old gossip person. I'm gonna stay strong in my spirit. I'm gonna stay strong in my spirit. And I'm gonna love what God has given me in my hands. I'm gonna love what God has given me in my hands. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to step out. I'm going to step out. And shine. And shine. With a new attitude. With a new attitude. And no matter how bad it is. And no matter how bad it is. And no matter how bad it gets. No matter how bad it gets. I'm going to make it. 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 Now say this with me with conviction. I want you to say it from deep, deep, deep down in that belly when you're angry. I can, I can, I will, I will, and that settles it. And that settles it. I can, I can, I will, I will, and that settles and it. That settles it. Nothing stopping me. Nothing stopping me. Nothing stopping me. Nothing stopping me. If it's to be, if it's to be, it's up to me. It's up to me. If I can see the invisible, if I can see the invisible, I can do the impossible. I can do the impossible. It's time to shatter through my glass ceiling. Reach in the lion's mouth. Reach in the lion's mouth. And take what belongs to me. Take what belongs to me. And I'm big enough to do it. And I'm big enough to do it. It's time to play a bigger game. It's time to play a bigger game. And I'm big enough to do it. And I'm big enough to do it. From this day forward. From this day forward. I adopt a giant spirit. I adopt a giant spirit. Now I'm going to speak to the men. Men, in every man, God has ordained a king. And maybe you haven't been representing your kingship like you should have. Bless it. Maybe you haven't been being the man you need to be for mama to be the queen she needs to be. Maybe, maybe it's time to step your game up. So men, I want you to say this with me. From this day forward, From this day forward I operate in my kingship. I operate in my kingship. I understand that I am the foundation of this kingship. I understand that I am the foundation of this kingship. My fiduciary responsibility, my fiduciary responsibility is to motivate everything in my distance. Is to motivate everything in my distance. Everything in my influence, I'm a motivated. Everything in my influence. I'm gonna encourage everything in my circle. I'm encouraging everybody around me. I see no faults. I believe no faults. I see the best. I 
and I forget the rest. Now I want you to give me a roar from the king inside you. On three. One, two, three. Give me a roar. Oh, oh. Y'all stand back up for the queens. If you can't stand up, that's all right. All right. From this day forward, this day forward I'm going to operate in my queenship. I'm going to operate in my queenship. No more negative picking. No more negative picking. I'm the encourager. I'm the encourager. I will build my king. I will build my king. I will support my king. I will support my king. I will encourage the children. I will encourage the children. I will influence. I will influence everything in my circle. Everything in my circle. I'm going to stay motivated. I'm going to stay motivated. I'm going to stay positive. I'm going to stay positive. I'm forgetting the past. I'm forgetting the past. No more tally keeping. No more tally keeping. I'm going to tear that tally up. 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 Close your mouth. I'm going to close but tear that tally up. I'm going to tear that tally up. And I'm going to see the best. And I'm going to see the best. Because I know that's my test. I know that I'm a queen. I'm powerful. I'm powerful. I'm beautiful. I'm beautiful. I'm unstoppable. I'm unstoppable. And nothing will stop my reign. Will stop my reign. From this day forward. This is my season. This is my season. This is my time. This is my time. And I'm in a zone. And I'm in a zone. It's time to shatter through my glass ceiling. Reach in the lion's mouth. Reach in the lion's mouth. And take what belongs to me. Now give me a queen's yell. Have y'all seen it. Men, we're going to have to outdo them next time. All right, so I want you to know I'm proud of you. I believe in you. I'm encouraged for your success. I'm encouraged for your new season. I believe in you. I believe in you. I, that's a beautiful thing. I want you to know that it's time for you to stand up, step out. Amen. You're going to stand up against your negativity. Yes. You're going to release your negativity. You're going to step out. You're going to be bold. You're going to believe God that if you can see the invisible, you can do the impossible. Yes. And know that you are unstoppable, invincible, too powerful to be defeated, too powerful to be overcome. You're going to stand up, step out, and shine. And you're going to shine with positivity. Success is not about money. Success is about how we view life, how we view circumstances, how we view each other. We're going to love on each other. We're going to love on ourselves. And we're going to stand up, step out, and shine. I want you to shatter through your glass ceiling, reach in the lion's mouth, and take what belongs to you. This is your season. This is your time, and you're in a zone. My name is Michael Diamond. Amen. International motivational speaker, master sales trainer, and expert in personal development, and I'll see you in the winner circle. Right. Just what he was speaking about is a part of my life. Born and raised in New York City, I used to walk like this and thought that I had everything in control, lived in a small apartment. But with the idea of saying, I can do, I can move forward, I now live in a 4,000 square foot house, drive BMWs and be able to move around like I want to. That's what he was talking about. You can do. It can be done. I'm a living example of that. I just want to say that I enjoyed the evening with Michael Diamond. It's been a blessing to us all. And he really spoke into my heart. And I'm thanking for him being here with us tonight. And 
it's been a blessing. Thank you. I tell you, this has been an exciting night. Michael Diamond has just been a blessing. We needed something positive. We needed a positive message. And he was just what we needed to wrap up our vacation Bible school. And I'll definitely have him back again. Thank you so much, Michael. Hi, my name is Frances Morris, and I just was under the teaching of Michael Diamond's amazing, amazing, amazing. He set my soul on fire. The one thing that he brought out for me to continue to think about and to and to just step out on is the fact that there is life and death in the power of the tongue. So if you speak it, then you can believe it and then you can have it. So and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stand up. I'm going to step out and I'm going to shine. So watch out, world. Here I come. And I will see you in the winner's circle as well. God bless you. Hi, my name is Bernetta Heron, and I'm here to say how awesome Michael Diamond was. He has gave me things to gleam. I've got a new attitude. I'm ready to step out. I'm ready to strut my stuff. Let's put it like that. I'm ready to strut my stuff. I'm ready to take back everything that's in the lion's mouth. Thank you. I just like to say that I just absolutely loved the message tonight. The message that was given was so inspiring and the diamonds that were dropped were so motivational. I thank you so, so much, Michael Diamond, for enlightening us at our Vacation Bible School. God bless you. Thank you for watching another edition of the Diamond Series. If you want more information on product offers or want to know when Michael's going to be in your area, just call the number on your screen or write to us. And let Michael Diamond take you to the next level. I think that he is really out there to help a lot of the people and they really want what he has to give them. In fact, I'm encouraging all my suppliers to use Michael Diamond. And the reason being is because I'm hoping that he can do for them they did for my organization. Taught me a lot about putting more positive into my life and not sabotaging myself and it was a very good motivational seminar. Not only is he discussing a dream that's important to him, but it's one that can be shared throughout the world. People have a compassion about something and that's what his focus was.